yes, I've been lucky to be here before. Uh, my first experience of India was back in 92, actually, it's a long time ago. But I've also been part of Manchester United, uh, you know, for a long time now. And uh, I've been to fan events here before, and I really experienced uh, how big fan base we have here in India. So it's always nice to, to be back here. Again, now I'm here. Uh, really looking forward to to launch this uh, program in uh, Manchester United and and the grassroots project here with uh, United. Uh, we play with uh, with, uh, with Apollo, so uh, you know the, the, the we have a big market here, as I said, and it's an important market. And I'm really looking forward for the kids to come through that uh, that project. Definitely was my you know uh, biggest time as, as a footballer. Of course, uh, we've won a lot of. Uh, a trophies. I was part of a fantastic team, uh, fantastic manager. Uh, so, uh, and we won a lot of trophies. So, uh, and uh, you know, I'm rooting for for Uruguay to you know to come to that stage again and, and win a lot of trophies. And uh, it's, uh, you can see the similarities now. You know, uh, same when I came. It's a lot of. Uh, local kids coming through to play for United now. Uh, you see it again with Oligan making sure that these kids are coming through to play for Manchester United again. So I'm crossing our fingers and uh, and looking forward to the, to the future for them. It was so many games that season that we, you know, we were pushed to the limit and uh, had to dig, uh, dig out the results. And, uh, but a mo one special moment for me maybe was uh, uh, semi-final in the, in the FA Cup against Arsenal. We were one man down and, and uh, the second leg and we managed to, to get the result. And everybody remembers Ryan Giggs scoring that famous goal as well. So, uh, and I think that you build on that through the whole season, I think, uh, which you have the belief and, and, and belief that you can come back from games and believe that you can win games even then you 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 you're chasing it so uh, so I think that's everything yeah yeah he's a special manager uh, with a big S and so uh, no he's a he's a what do you call a man manager he's uh, he's somebody who makes sure or, or he can read every player make sure that you know he get the best out of the player as long as you want to, to, to give the best you can. Uh, and he will, he will, and he makes sure that, that you perform to your best at all times. So I think every player that we playing under him, he, he, you know, play to their potential there or there. So, and that's make, you know, one of the things that makes him the manager he was. So, and he still is a, is a fantastic uh, person and I see him quite often. I think, you know, uh, it's always good that you have somebody that push you to the limit. And I have to say, Arsenal at that time, with, uh, they call them after a season that they did because they invincible. So they had a really good, really good team as well. But uh, that's always going to happen. When somebody push you, you always have to raise your game. So uh, they, they pushed us to the limit. And uh, and one season they won, the other season we won again, and uh, and uh, let's race our games. Actually, yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, I think uh, you know he was uh, nominated the manager of the month in December, uh, which was a good, uh, uh, yeah, good for, good for for for. You. Looking back on on all the results and everything, is rebuilding the team and you know putting a lot of young kids that come through the system in the, in the team. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but it's still you know is it five points of the the fourth place, which is uh, everybody knows is a is an important place to, to get at. Uh, they've done well, really well against the top teams, uh, and uh, and. As I said, rebuilding the team, so it, it takes sometimes it takes a little bit of time. But I, I really look positive on, uh, on on the future now when you see all these young kids coming through the, the, the system as well. So I'm really looking forward. No, I, th I think you know uh, when you look at the games, uh, you know when you play the big teams, uh, you have to play in a certain way. Uh, 
and you look at uh, your strengths and weaknesses in the, in the team. And, and uh, sometimes you, you change your formation, you change the tactics, uh, and that's part of football. Uh, and as I said, when you see all the young kids now coming through and, and perform, it's, it's really, really good. And that's what's looking really good in the, in the future. Uh, about the, yeah, of course you can look about. You know, everybody was disappointed after the City game, for example. But City, when they control the game, sometimes it's really good as well. But that's that's football. You know, they still have the chance in the, in the cup to come back at them, especially over there. I think it's uh, it's uh, it's sometimes it's United how they play sometimes. Uh, and uh, I think you see the progression in, in how they play at the moment and uh, that's, that's, that's what's important as they progress every training and they progress every game I see so uh, it goes, sometimes it goes a little bit up and down but that's uh, when you have with your young players and, and, and you try to rebuild things that's going to happen no I think uh, the most important thing was that uh, there you got your own pro league here uh, there's a lot of you know my former players came down here uh, to play and, 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 and to promote uh, the, the, the Super League uh, and also this program is, is to, to, to add to that you know to make sure that kids are uh, growing up uh, they're going to be part of the uh, Manchester United soccer schools and, 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 the, and the coaches that are here uh, to make sure they, they learn and, 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 and that's how everything you know starts you know it starts on the grassroots and, and they try to build uh, also for for the Indian football and, and, the, and the future of Indian Indian football league you, know, you have to start somewhere and uh, and uh, I know the, the cricket here is big but uh, uh, and uh, uh, but I, I see a really a bright future for, for for Indian football when you start doing this start of, uh, kind of stuff. It's always going. No, no, it's always rumors about uh, you know, uh, Holland played with. Uh, I can uh, play with uh, uh, Mulder when uh, when Ole Gunnar was a manager. Mulder, so always the connection is there. Yeah. Uh, he chose uh, he chose uh, uh, Dortmund. Which is a big team as well uh, in a big league, uh, and he scored a hat trick yesterday. What can I say? It's a, it's an unbelievable start for him to his, uh, his new club and his new career there. Uh, but also looking for on the Norwegian side of it, uh, hopefully Norway can. Uh, they have a few, you know, young players coming through now uh, with him. Well, uh, early goal and uh, some of the bad guys, another one. You have a lot of kids coming there, so. Uh, hopefully Norway can qualify for it's about time I mean it's back in 2000 when they qualified for, for for Europe and it's about time they qualify again so so I'm looking forward to it ooh Fireside yeah when you play Fireside you, you're always going to win when you have a lot of defenders it's no, it's no joke <laughs> so I would play I would, but you always have no what can I say uh, that's difficult I would yeah some in my team uh Schmeichling goal. Uh, who else? Skolsi maybe. Uh, yeah, I need. Uh, oh, it's difficult to play. There's so many. Uh, uh, Thanks. I could have. Uh, I could have. Uh, oh, it's difficult. I could have so many. <laughs> Ryan Giggs. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much.